Hello Zendi, let me take you on a string safari. A string safari is a project where we create a zentangle using a given string and this is our ninth string safari. You can check out all our previous projects uh, in the playlist. I'm Sandhya Manne, an artist and a certified zentangle teacher. Welcome to yet another zentangle mini project. In this channel we talk about creating and practicing zentangle, my own zentangle inspired artworks and collectibles. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that like button so you don't miss out on any uh, videos that we post every Tuesdays and Fridays. For today's project, I will be working on a regular white square tile with my black pen and pencil. So go grab your supplies and let's get started. Okay, so here we are with our supplies. Uh, my Here is my 08 micron, uh, 01 micron, my pencil and stub and my white square tile. So this is our string safari number nine, and here is our string. So I start with um, four dots on four corners, and I'm gonna join them freehand. Like that. So here is how uh, the string is going to look. I'm gonna make a half circle like this and a half circle like this and a pod in the center so that is how my my uh, string is going to be so I start here okay make sure your lines are gentle don't make them too dark and I'm gonna make a pod in the center like so so this is my string now let's get started with tangling. So I'm going to uh, start with my first tangle, which is M angle. So it's a grid based tangle and I'm gonna make my grid uh, inside this section. So I have planned uh, three tangles here. I'm gonna do uh, the first tangle M angle in this section and then uh, another tangle on either side of this and then the third tangle on either side of this. Okay, so let's start with uh, M angle. So it's a good base tangle, goes like this. So I'm making my grid uh, cross, so it's going to go like this. Now, uh, M angle is a, a lovely filler tangle that kind of just goes like this. So you just go along this shape your square and just keep going on inside so this is one single line that is continuous and goes in as far as I can go so I stop right there now I start uh, repeating this on in my next section so I go ahead like this and I'm just imagining my square somewhere here and then you know coming out like this mm -hmm. like this and probably here it would come on like that right so let's repeat this again in this section so notice I'm starting uh, at the same um, side so everywhere I'm trying to start the same side so there is some evenness and some rhythm to the whole drawing
Now for these two sections, uh, I'm going to use bales, uh, but a very simple version of bales. So here's how we're going to do. I'm just going to pull this line, these lines here. So it looks like the continuation of our um, grid that we started off making. Okay, and so this is going to come here. So let's repeat that. Okay, so well, I can make one here. So probably I'll, I will make that. So now I have my uh, grid for the next angle, which is bales. We have used this previously too uh, and I like that it's a very, um, very simple triangle and uh, you can make it elaborate by adding further enhancements or you can just use it like this which is what we're going to do today we're just going to make it keep it very simple so there I'm going to repeat this on the other side. So I'm done with both the sides here. Now on to our third tangle, which I plan to do on either sides of this board. Um, this is called barbels. It's a it's a lovely tangle uh, and a nice filler tangle. So it goes like this. Um, it's like a oval, um, not really. You know, it, there's no particular shape to it. So it kind of fits in wherever you want to fit it in. It can be small, it can be big. It's, it's kind of nicely stacked in those little gaps. I'm going ahead and adding I'm adding a lot of these in different directions and different sizes I'm basically uh, trying to fill the space up and it looks interesting when you have them all um, placed um in in different directions and different sizes it looks more organic that way So making sure I kind of stay uh, in that space. So all my barbels are touching each other. It's like tightly packed. Okay, so I'm done with one side. I'm going to repeat this on the other side as well.
so I'm almost done I have like a couple of teeny tiny sections to fill this up and with that I will be done So uh, the next step is to add in black in between in these gaps. Um, now this is again optional. If you want, you can add. If you if you are fine with this, uh, you can just leave it at that. Um, I'm gonna add black because um, there's no contrast here. I mean, this is also line-based angles, and uh, uh, this is also just the lines. So I want to have some black in them. Um, so I'm gonna fill these gaps with solid black. so just go ahead take your time to fill in the black see i like the way it's turning out um it gives a nice contrast and it just kind of holds everything together so i'm gonna go ahead and fill this whole thing on either sides So I'm almost done, I just have last few sections to fill up the black and uh, we shall we shall get to uh, the shading right after this. So take your time to fill the blacks. So now let's get to uh, shading. Um, so I'm going to add my pencil right here, here, here and right on top of that. So it's going to go like this. So I'm going to repeat this. Just blending this inside like so. 
trying to give that raised effect and which is what I'm trying to do so there you can see the difference between this side and the other side once you do the shading it gives a nice three-dimensional feel to it so let's do that on the other side as well The next place I'm going to add pencil is on base. So I'm just going to add my pencil right here. So on this side and on this side. Okay, so it's going to go like this. And this is going to go like this. So I'm going to stay inside that pencil line. So now for a angle, I'm going to do it right here and here on top of that. So let's run this. And on this side as well. So there you go. So it gives a nice, uh, like as if the bales are going under the M angle. That's that's the effect that it's creating. And I'm just gonna give a little touch here just to enhance the shape. And that's it. So I'm done with my mini project so it's time to add our signatures um, simple project with three tangles and some intense shading okay, my zero one micron okay so let's put our signatures go and i'm going to date the work so this is today's date is 23rd June 2020 and this is for YouTube string safari number 9 and we use tangles M angle bail and Barbels. So there you go, guys. Thank you. Hope you had fun on that safari with me. I would love to see your creations. So head on to our FB group Zenbees, where all the after party fun happens. Share your works there and check out creations by other Zenbees. If you're sharing your works on social media, do tag me at Sandhya Mane or hashtag Tangle with Sandhya so I get to see your lovely works there. I do an Insta live every Tuesday at 7:30 p.m. India Standard Time on my Instagram handle Sandhya Mane. Do join me and let's tangle together. Now uh, comment below and let me know how you enjoyed this project because that helps me plan out my next set of videos. Um, also it's time to show some love so hit that like button and share the video and subscribe to the channel. In the description there is a link called uh, Tangle Organizer. Uh, click on that sign up uh, to get updates on my upcoming videos and um, uh, to claim your free gift. I'll see you next Friday uh, in our Focus Flight series video. Until then, remember to breathe and smile. See ya. Namaste.